have to unmute myself. Ah, oh, dang it. I ruined it. <clears throat> I was going to start singing, How do you solve a problem like Maria? But I didn't unmute myself, so the effect was null and void. Hello, everybody. How you doing today? Um, I just got back to my town about 45 minutes ago. I drove from Atlanta today. <laughs> Nailed it first try, yes. Um, I don't know what levels are going to be like as far as um, volume levels go. So just let me know. Hi, Riddy. Hi, Riddy text. Back to the really real world. Start from this time frame. Yes, I believe so. Sounds good. Get his medicine. Okay, yeah, okay. One more thing that concerns me. medicine to him and I don't remember how. Hmm. We have your daughter. What? My daughter. Is she alright? Tell me she's alright. Here for yourself. Help, help. Help, help. What do you want? What are your demands? Hi, best friend. <clears throat> okay. I believe you ran away with the man on the other day. It was you. And have you complied? Has the execution been carried out? I didn't do it because of your demand. I did it because that's my job. Yes, yes, of course. They should be contacting me any minute now with the confirmation. There's no need for this kidnapping. We're very thorough. You'd do well to remember that. Ah. And of course it goes without saying we're watching you. If this information leaves that room, you'll never see your daughter again. I trust you understand that. Don't tell the police, is that it? Exactly. Love you, bestie. Ah! Eight months in a row! Thank you. I love you too. You're the best bestie. All you have to do is your job. All right, I'll do as you say. I'll make sure the execution is carried out tonight. You have my word. Yeah, that an eight month tier three sub, uh, that deserves a emote. Okay, I think I have to stay here because I have to get him his medicine. The bad bestie, yes. All right, um, why are my hands sweaty already? I need to relax. This is terrible. A kidnapping, eh? Once again, I'm not sure what the word means, but it's apparently the cause of the minister's attack. Such a useless man. Huh? A useless man caught up in a useless case? Why doesn't he understand that? Anyway, we only have four minutes here. I'm just getting pumped already. Okay, so I think I kind of figured this out last time, but I don't remember any of that. Here's the medicine bottle, right? Watch me kill him. I don't remember the steps. 
that I had discovered last time. I think he flings the medicine bottle, right? Oh, he's like beating his head against the desk. Here it comes. If one lives his life in fits, he's bound to be plagued by fits. Why doesn't he understand? There wasn't a chance. Okay. I'm right here! Okay, okay, okay. Ghost. Swing, raise, close. Stop reminding me! Are you kidding me? And dead. Swing, raise, close, cha cha cha, bow, jump, wave, cha cha cha. Hi, Moocher. I thought I was onto something here. I have to buy some time. Okay, okay. And thank you for the welcome home. They say I have to buy some time. <clears throat> I don't know if I have to buy some time with the water or buy some time with the bottle. I'm gonna try. He got it. We okay? He got it. Yes. 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 Okay, cool. Yes. That's good. Now how do I get over there? Sorry. <laughs> that should help. At least now he's had some water. 
He's still breathing, but he looks far from recovered. Such a wishy-washy man, huh? He can't make up his mind whether to live or die. That's how he lives his life. Okay. At least now I bought some time to get his medicine to him. Okay, fate changed. Cool. I gotta somehow get up there, right? I saw a path just for a second while the minister was drinking the water. Are you serious? <clears throat> while he was drinking the water. Okay. some more time thank you thank you so much Mutra 15 months is amazing thank you spin harder at least I'm up in the fan Okay, time for the next step. Now about this medicine bottle. The minister's gonna make a full recovery. I have to deliver this thing to him, but how is a ghost with no hands or feet supposed to do that? I just have to use my head instead. Okay. I thought I was up to something. I see, I think if I swing the sword, yeah, it doesn't quite reach. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, cool. <laughs> That's gonna be my ghost trick, like, narrative. Only Catholic. What up, Chundra? Okay. Is this guy schizophrenic? Like, I don't mean that to be funny, but, like, is that, like, part of his personality here? Because he keeps referring to himself, like, in the third person. He's just really upset with himself. Okay. I don't know about Fallen Man, but you talk about him like he's your fall guy. I guess the key here is what order the objects are dropped in. Ah, so that didn't really do anything. 
Maybe I should have done the other side first. harder. Dang it, I missed that. I gotta do that again because I was too busy reading chat. Associative identity disorder is characterized by the presence of two more, more personalities, but that's extremely rare. All that doctory stuff, you know? Okay, so let me do it like this. Let's try some other things. Raise the arm. Turn this. I wonder what happens if I rock this now. Yes! Cool, good. Now I want to undo this. should have turned that thing. Shoot. I know what I gotta do. I know what I gotta do. I think. I wish I could skip the dissertation every time. Globe. 
spin the globe. the arm. Close the curtain. Raise the arm. Roll the globe. Please work. Trick. Basket, rock the boat, don't rock the boat, baby. Hey. Uh, bro, I don't think you're supposed to take all the pills at once. There, the minister finally took his medicine. I think maybe he even took too much medicine. Yeah. You don't want to die of an overdose because you don't want to die of a heart attack. Huh? He's supposed to take two capsules with water. Why doesn't he know that? See, he's like talking about himself in the third person. Oh, cut the guy some slack. There, see? He sounds like the the chicken kitchen guy Just when he's singing. Whew, that was a lot of work. Well, hopefully this taught him a lesson. I think Riddy must have a really big latency going on here. Maybe. I don't know. I'm confused. Unless she's oh knowing about something else. Hopefully this taught him a lesson. Huh? He greatly underestimated his dependence on his medicine. I hope he learned something from this experience. First, know yourself. That is the key to everything. I think you need to listen to your own advice. Anyway, let's go back to the world of the present. Okay. So the Justice Minister is now back to life. But the furrows on his brow are even deeper now. And apparently, our lady detective is the present cause of these furrows. Lynn. Look, detective. He was sentenced after a fair trial, and the man himself wants to be executed. But there was no evidence. All they had was his own confession. But it was no ordinary confession. It was the confession of an esteemed detective. Stay back! I told you I don't want anybody coming near me. Mr. Minister, please listen to me. I might be able to gather new evidence in that case tonight. What? So please, please, just give me a little more time. I just got a call from the prison. Your death row convict apparently just escaped. Unfortunately, after all this time, it seems he now wants to dodge his punishment. B but when he's apprehended, his sentence will be carried out. Tonight. No. But when his sentence was handed down, you were against enforcing the death pen penalty. So why did you sign the order all of a sudden? Well, I... I was simply performing my duty as Justice Minister. That's all there is to it. 
Lynn looks like she's about to rip into the Justice Minister. I think she's forgotten all about me. I think I'll send her a little signal. Sissel, there you are. Sounds like the minister is being very stubborn. That's right, he is. Maybe we shouldn't have saved him after all. The minister has to have the execution carried out tonight. And he has a very good reason for it. A good reason? I told Lynn about what I had learned about the kidnapping. Kidnapping? They kidnapped the Justin justice minister's daughter? Apparently. Oh my goodness. But still... That's still no reason to hurry forward with the execution. Why don't you go ahead and say that to the Justice Minister, then? Oh, the poor man. I hate to do that to him. By the way... Do you think you could carry me? Oh, right, sure. Not very handy. Is it having no legs? What are you going to do with that globe? Crack me in the head with it? Oh, this? Ha ha ha! No, pay no attention to this! It's kind of hard not to pay attention to it. By the way, and please pardon me if this is a silly question, were you talking to somebody just now? But of course not, right? I mean, there's no such thing as ghosts, right? Are you talking about me? Ah! No, there's no such thing! This is a dream. It's nothing but a dream. Don't you remember me? My dream is talking to me! Hmm, so now I'm a dream, eh? This guy's gonna need some counseling. Mr. Minister, we know. We know about your daughter. She was kidnapped, wasn't she? And if the execution doesn't take place tonight, you won't see her again? Ah! Ah! Your medicine! Medicine! This guy. works in a very stressful job if he has this bad of a condition. I feel like he may want to move positions. What am I going to do? The death row prisoner has escaped. If he isn't executed tonight, my daughter, my Amelie. But what, about, what if the execution isn't the right thing to do? Ah! Come on, Lynn, if you keep pressing him like that, he's gonna die again. What can I do then? We have to do something about that kidnapping. I gets confused and overdosed some pills. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't put it past her. Until we, get, until we do that, it'll be impossible to get the minister on our side. That's the way I see it. I think I'll start by gathering info on the kidnapping in the only way I know how. Okay. I assume this is from where that lady was. I really should pay the kidnapper's hideout a visit. After all, if we want the justice minister to come around, we need to solve this problem first. I feel like I'm slowly moving away from my own mystery, but I'm not the kind of guy who can abandon a little lady in trouble, so I guess I'm in this for a little while longer. Yeah, we gotta die. Like, we're gonna not be alive anymore. Yes. What a joker. Yes, we want to keep playing. End the stream. I'm just kidding. Okay. Oh, man. I only have till sunup, though, right? That's gonna be like five hours. The Justice Minister's daughter's been abducted. The kidnappers demand the execution of the death row prisoner Jow to be carried out tonight. Lynn says the execution is a mistake and I believe her, so I'm paying the kidnapper's hideout a visit to see what I can find out about the abduction. Watch them not even have the kid. What took you so long? <laughs> I think so, Terror. I think. I've never done it, though, so... 
you know, I'm holding off for a little while. Your instinct was right, beauty, my dear. They had that restaurant surrounded. It took me forever to shake them, and now my poor bike is ready for the scrap heap. Next time, maybe you should make it a tricycle so you don't hurt yourself. Ouch, that hurts, beauty. But that's okay. That's what I love about you. That she's a jerk? Be a little more gentle with our valuable hostage, please. Yes, yes, always keep a smile on a lady's face, right, my dear? There, see that beauty? Now there's a smile blooming on your face too, my dear. Yes, a wry smile. I'm going out for a breath of fresh air. You're on guard duty. All right, I'll dream of you until you return. Yeah, this guy needs to cool it. Why don't you open the trunk for our guest? I will, beauty. I was just taking a little breather. All right, let's get this girl out of here. All right, little lady, let me open that trunk for you. Are you going to? Beauty. Uh, it looks like the justice minister's daughter really has been kidnapped. This guy. And bothering, and something else is bothering me too. I don't think I've ever been to this room before, but something about it is giving me a strange sense of deja vu. I've seen something like this before. Taking something precious to manipulate others, so that's what kidnapping is. The dirty tricks those without the powers of the dead come up with. However, if I take that precious thing back, their power vanishes, doesn't it? Now then. Time to see how the Justice Minister's little girl is doing before this guy wakes up from his dream of beauty. Okay, open, burn brighter, swing. Let's start with opening this. Whenever I possess a door like this, for some reason I get the urge to send something flying with it. These ghost tricks are kind of addictive. Okay. Where does this swing to? down there. those things you light with fire. As long as there's light in the room, is something like this really necessary? I need another core to reach the trunk and open it. I wonder if I can create a new core! Darn. I can't reach my destination from here. I found it interesting that he said creating a new core. Ok, 
Okay. A ball that rolls off a table. I've already seen something like this once. Does the ball do anything? down there. So this, okay, here we go. The balance toy can spin. Party popper can fire. Cake box another party popper. So that just goes up and down. Okay, 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 okay. Alright, I think I can light this thing on fire, right? Let me figure that out. Just my imagination, that's all he has to say? What an amazingly simple fellow. This room, on the other hand, is starting to look amazingly festive. The question is, how can I use it to my advantage? So, I don't know if my fire thing can go that far, but I wonder what this can do. laid back he'd fall right off that crate but look at that streamer go spinning round and round how can I make use of that I need to get back over here it for reals. Can I spin this faster? Yeah, it is. Get it, get it, yes! Yes! Okay, cool. All right, now. We're going like this. Lower the shade. We getting somewhere, boys and girls. We getting somewhere. And we're gonna lift this. We gonna set this town on fire. Just my imagination, are you Okay, okay, all right. This is fine. Boom. 
Boom! Doesn't that look like Lynn's little sister? Or am I imagining things? This town in the fire. What in the... What's going on here? This little lady is... Yes! Yes! Is this little lady really a daughter of the justice minister? I thought that this was the sister of Lynn, though. Because if that's the sister of Lynn, then that means Lynn is also a daughter of the justice minister. Right? Hmm. Just my imagination. Were they sisters or was I imagining that? What's with the fun book and juice? Like I said, always keep a smile on that lady's face. I wanted to treat our guest well. How about treating me well? I'd like some bread and milk, please. At your service, my dear. Be back in a flash. Hey, mister. Yes, cute little lady. More juice, perhaps? All you have to do is ask. Have I been kidnapped? Sog bread? She wants to make some sog bread. Beauty loves a sog bread. Don't cry, little dear. There's nothing to be afraid of. The surroundings are miserable and filthy, I know, but you just ask for a little patience. Don't say those awful things about this house. Hmm? This house is where I used to live. What? I apologize, little lady. I'm the one who's miserable and filthy. Forgive me. What's the meaning of this beauty? Why here at this girl's old house? Don't ask me. It was the other party in our deal who chose this location. Oh. Oh, I see. It's been empty for five years, and apparently nobody ever comes here. But never mind that. What about my bread and milk? Oh, oh of course. Now you be a good girl while I'm gone. Everybody here walks distinctly, and that's impressive to me, as far as animation goes. You just read your book and drink your juice. I want to go home. Not quite yet. This dilapidated place was Camilla's old house? What's going on here? I am so confused! How is Camilla and Lynn... Related? What in the world? Why does the little lady have a core have a core of the dead? When I helped her out at Lynn's apartment, she didn't have one. So that must mean she must have died sometime after that. And it also means somebody else must have saved her. I'd better ask her what happened. Who's there? Oh, wait a minute. Is that you, Missile? Missile! Aww. Aww, Missile helped her. Aww, Missile. He's a good boy. I'm sorry, I'm not Missile. My name's Sissel. Sissel? My name is Camilla. Camilla, so it is her, I knew it. What happened to me? What is this place? I can hardly tell the poor little thing this is the land of the dead. The land of the dead? Does that mean I'm dead? Darn, I forgot there are no secrets in the ghost world. You can relax, you're not dead. But this isn't the first time you've been here, apparently. Really? I don't remember. Wait a minute. Maybe I do remember. Sort of. You do? It looks like she doesn't remember being saved very well. So there's some other dead person out there with special powers, eh? Anyway, I don't want to press her if she doesn't remember dying. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions about something else? Sure, go ahead, sissy. Sissy, eh? Ahem. <laughs> Missile was the little dog that I saved the life of uh, early game. Lynn asked me to do something for her tonight. See? Okay. Does anybody remember if they said that Lynn and Camilla were related or, or why? 
why Lynn asked Camilla to do something? Like, is what's the relation there? Does anybody remember? Because I don't. And now I'm very confused. I thought they were sisters, but maybe not. I know about that part. She asked you to go to the chicken kitchen on Dead End Drive, right? Yeah, but I never got there. Now I wish I could say I'm sorry to her. I never should have gone through that park. What park? Temsic Park. It's a shortcut to Dead End Drive. Is that where the kidnappers grabbed you? Yeah. Lynn always said, I don't like that park. Scary things happen there. Temsic Park, eh? What am I gonna do? Lynn's gonna be mad. She is? How come? Because I left it there. The music box. In the park. That's right, the music box. That music box was hidden in the apartment. I finally found it with a little bit of luck and courage. Guess where it was? I don't know where. Let's pretend I don't know. You know? You don't have to humor me. Oops. So what happened to the music box? I hid it in the bushes at the park just before it happened. Just be Oh, just before you were kidnapped, huh? I didn't want the bad man to take it, so I hid it. I bet it's still there in the park. You did well. So the mu music box is in the park? I better let Lynn know. I believe they said Camilla seems, sees Lynn as a sister-like figure, not a s physical sister. Okay. This is your old house? <clears throat> yep, this is where we lived until five years ago. But now I live with Lynn and Missile. See? She lives with Lynn and Missile. Lynn is like a big sister to you, isn't she? Yep, she's a detective, you know. She's a hero. She is, huh? By the way, about your father? Is he the justice minister? My father is gone. What? What? Gone. Maybe he passed away? No, that's not it. My dad, he's gonna die. And it's all because of me. Well, what? What do you mean because of me? Why would you say- No, but- her father is the justice minister, the one who got the phone call and was like, if you don't kill that, if you don't follow through the execution, you'll never see your daughter again. And I followed the line. And this is the little girl that they were referring to. So, why would she say her father is gone? Why'd you say that? It's called an execution. My dad is a detective. Her dad is Jowd? Then why would it be a threat for the bad people to call the justice minister and say, well, you'll never see your daughter again? Why? No way. Don't tell me your father is Detective Jowd. That's right. What in the world? Yeah, Sissel. Monka S, okay? <laughs> I don't know if... Is that like a... Nope, it's not. I don't have that emote, but... Five years ago, something really bad happened. Like a scary dream, but it wasn't a dream. Five years ago, that murder case. Welp. It was mom's birthday that day. I don't know if I can handle this, y'all. My mom and dad were working, and I was home by myself. Five years ago? You had to be, like, five years old. And then I had an idea. I was gonna surprise my mom. I set up that contraption. I'm home, Camilla. Why is it dark? Oh, no. Oh no.
Was that like a... What was that? It was like a, a gun or something? I still can't believe it happened. It wasn't supposed to work like that. I know that contraption. And I know how it was supposed to work. Party poppers and a cake. A birthday message. My dad told me not to tell anybody. Just leave it to me, he said. It must have been. My dad wanted to be executed. He asked them for it. But I wanted to tell everybody it was my fault. My dad said what I saw was a bad dream. He told me to forget it. This is also unbelievably true. Yeah, like... <sighs> yeah. I need a candy corn for comfort. Hi, Timo. Welcome to the drama. It is written really well. Thank you for the host. I can't believe it. This little lady is Detective Jowd's daughter. I just can't tell her. I can't tell her why she was kidnapped. Why was I kidnapped? I want to know. Oops. There are no secrets in the ghost world. Maybe we better stop talking. It's too dangerous. Sissy. It's cute she calls him sissy. You're not going to talk to me anymore? I think we'd better get you out of here first. We can talk more after that. Okay, but... I'm going to rescue you now. You just hold on a little longer, all right? But we'll talk later, right? Don't forget, you promised, sissy. Oh, man. And how am I involved in all of this? Like, we've already give, been given the impression that I'm somehow involved in all of this. So, that's what I want to know. I'm getting some feels, yeah. What took you so- uh, <clears throat> What was her voice? What took you so long? I traveled the entire town in search of the finest bread and milk for you, my dear. But it's late and all the shops are closed. We're leaving this place right now. What? But he's not here yet. If we couldn't meet at the restaurant, weren't we supposed to meet here? Yes, and he's the one who chose this location. I don't like this one bit. We have to run around doing all this extra work all for the sake of his deal. Be quiet. It can't be helped. This place is too dangerous. I told you my sixth sense is very strong. All right, as you wish, beauty. I feel it. For those of you who have played Pokemon Sun and Moon, does she not remind you of Lusamine? In a way. Because she reminds me of Lusamine. In a way. I, s I feel it. I sense something here in this room. Is somebody there? Can you hear me? Is she talking to me? I can sense your presence, you know. The next time I sense you, this child will die. Ah! Remember that. All right, we're leaving. Pardon me, little lady. Dang it.
of a sudden, I left behind alone. Alone in that in the room that stole that little lady's smile away five years ago. The little lady is gone now, leaving me with only a few new facts. A few very heavy, very sad facts. Does Lynn know about all of this? I doubt it. Why would she? One other thing stands out in my mind. I can sense your presence, the sum of that kidnapper's final words. Do those two know? Do the kidnappers know about the powers of the dead? Hmm. Yes. Yes, we're gonna keep on trucking. Rolling. Rolling. Rolling, playing ghost trick. Okay. It looks like the kidnappers made a big mistake. I regret a lot of the things I do right after I do them on stream. The girl in the trunk was Detective Jowd's daughter, Camilla. Not the minister's daughter. So then, why was the minister so... Why did she refer to him to the... Why'd she refer to the little girl as your daughter to the minister? Hello, traveling through Aldra. How are you this evening? Afternoon, morning, wherever you, it, whatever time it is where you are. I hope you're having a great day. Thanks for joining. This is a blind playthrough for me, um, uh, through Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. So please no spoilers, but, um, it's good to see you. And, uh, I assume you're here because you know this game. And if so, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here at any rate. Okay. When I got back to the Justice Minister's office, things were getting more out of a hand. The devastated man was being grilled by the fiery detective lady. Why am I referring to Lynn as the fiery detective lady? Oh, okay. I thought he, like, somehow forgot. I told Lynn what I had found out about the kidnapping, that it wasn't the Justice Minister's daughter who'd been abducted. That the kidnappers had been holed up in Camilla's old house and that they sensed my presence and we're already gone. It's my favorite game, so I won't spoil anything, promise. Okay, sounds great. Thank you. Uh, but Camilla? Why do they have Camilla? Her father isn't the stupid old justice minister? Yeah, I sang on a I think the stupid old part is a little uncalled for. It looks like the kidnappers made a mistake somehow. The poor girl kidnapped for the ransom of her own father's execution? It's just too much. It's a cruel twist of fate, I agree. And then there are the other twists, too. Like the kidnappers winding up in and using Camilla's old house as their hideout. There's no way it could just be coincidence. And them sensing my presence. They seem to know about the powers of the dead. I just don't understand any of it. I told... <clears throat> what, what voice did I do for him? I told you before, detective. I want you to stand back. Who cares about distance at a time like this? Look, Mr. Minister. It wasn't your daughter that was kidnapped. Don't try to pretend you didn't hear what we were saying. Ah! How can I believe in you? I'm a realist. Please! If you don't believe what we say, see for yourself. Just call home and... I tried calling a hundred times. My wife won't answer. Oh! Okay, it just clicked. His wife is that fussy woman that was fussing over the little kid, right? Was the little girl sick? I remember. And she was like an opera singer, the lady. Right? It's clicking. Okay, it's clicking. It's clicking. She won't. It's complicated. Oh, why does life have to be such a complicated thing? But if she doesn't answer, doesn't that mean everything's normal? It doesn't prove it! And I'm being watched. I can't have the police go check for me. Besides, if the execution isn't carried out tonight, the hostage will be killed. What difference does it make that it's not my daughter? Woo-wee, that's quite... Oh, I know who this is. Woo-wee! That's quite a pickle, Mr. Minister. Quite a pickle. I like this guy. Miss me, baby? Inspector Cabanella. I think he's my favorite. I have 
a little report for you, Mr. Minister. The escaped prisoner has been apprehended. Thought you might like to see him, so here he is. Detective Jowd? Detective Jowd, I'm so sorry. I tried. I know that you're innocent. I just can't prove it. I'm so sorry. Lynn, please don't apologize to me. Ah, the beautiful love between a teacher and student. It brings a tear to my eye. What am I trying to do? You knew, didn't you, Inspector Cabanella, that the execution was tonight? I don't believe I had any obligation to tell you. And you're fine with this? This game won an award for its animations, especially the cab. It deserves it. I had just mentioned um, a little bit ago that uh, almost every character has a distinct like walk, like a gait that's specifically theirs. It doesn't look, as far as I can tell, that they reused any, like, even basic walking animations uh, for characters, and that, to me, just is amazing. You're fine with this? I mean, you know as well as I do. Detective Jowd could never have done such a thing. Ha ha ha! Oh, come on now, baby. I know no such thing. Huh? I know two things to be true and two things only. One, he was given the death penalty. And two, he tried to escape. What else could I do but haul him in, baby? If that's the case, why did you bring him here? Whatever do you mean, young lady? He escaped from prison, right? So why didn't you just take him back to the prison? I think you only brought him here. To brag about your accomplishment. Isn't that right, Inspector? For your own selfish reasons. So were all the rumors about you true? That the only thing you care about is a spotless record? Is that more important to you than saving a friend? Everybody has certain principles they can't go back on, including me. You'll understand that someday, baby. That's enough, Lynn. But Detective Jowd, I'm a death row inmate who escaped from prison. This is how it should be. But... Um... I don't really know what I'm looking to do here. So, do I want to talk to him? to talk to somebody. I don't know who I should talk to. I'm gonna talk to Jow. So, Mr. Ghost, we meet again. I hear something happened. Something about a kidnapping. Some kidnappers are saying they abducted the Justice Minister's daughter. That's terrible. What's their demand? The carrying out of your execution tonight? Ha ha ha! I had no idea I was so hated. But the Minister doesn't have to worry. I die and it's all over. Very simple. It's not that simple. Why not? Because it isn't really the minister's daughter who got kidnapped. Don't tell him that, Lynn! Oh my god, Lynn. Lynn! It's Camilla. What? Camilla? I checked it out for myself. I'm positive. It can't be! And by the way, Camilla told me something interesting. She said the one who killed her mother five years ago was Camilla herself. What? What are you talking about? Don't listen to him. I'm the one who shot her. I'm the one who shot Alma. And when I'm ex executed tonight, that will be the end of it. Camilla won't have to suffer anymore after tonight. For a capable detective, you say some incredibly misguided things. Your dying isn't going to end that girl's suffering. It'll just bring her new suffering. The only person's pain this execution is going to ease is yours. Is it true? What Camilla said? Why don't you tell us what you know?
To be honest, I still don't understand what happened that day. It was my wife's, Alma's, birthday. We came home from work and she went in first. Bang! Mom? Mom? What was that noise? I looked for the shooter, but there was nobody to be found. There was nobody there besides Alma and Camilla, just the two of them. So the little lady's mother died right in front of her. Oh my, that's so horrible. Yeah, it's rough. Why'd you have to bring it up again, Lynn? Camilla told me about it. She was crying. She said the contraption she made did something it wasn't supposed to do, made an impossible move. An impossible move? My question is right now, which maybe he'll answer as I keep talking to him. Why was there a contraption set up in the house that even accidentally Camilla could trip to shoot Alma? Was if it was like a self-defense thing, then would he not know about that? Like if it was like, I don't know, like, you know, there's that gun in the like frame or whatever that moved. So if it was that, and it's set up to be like a self-defense thing, would he not know that it was there in the house and existed, so at least he would have an explanation for that? You think a popper killed this woman? Because I don't know how that makes sense. Like, confetti can't kill somebody. Right? No, confetti can't kill a person. Okay, I'm moving on. It's been five years since then. I stopped thinking about it. I shot Alma. There's no other explanation. That's what I'd convinced everyone of, even me. But tonight you showed up and gave me an explanation. The gunpowder could project something to kill someone. So you think somebody like, a, but you still think somebody like adjusted a confetti popper, right? I'm very confused as to what you think happened because I'm confused <laughs> about what did happen. The powers of the dead, right? That day in that room, powers I didn't understand were at work. And if that's the case, it clears up all the mysteries. Maybe not all, there are a couple of other people who know about those powers. Is somebody there? Can you hear me? I can sense your presence, you know. So wait, maybe there was a dead person on the bad guy side? Hi, Stuart. It's good to see you. It's okay that you can't stay. I am doing well, thank you. Um, it's great to see you. I hope you're doing well, Stuart. The kidnappers who abducted Camilla knew about those powers. This is no ordinary kidnapping. It looks like my wife's case isn't coming to an end after all. I'm the only one who thought it was. Detective Jowd! There's still time before dawn, a little anyway. How about you see this case through to the end before you die? Camilla was a quiet little girl, but she was good with her hands. She was a little genius at making elaborate toys and contraptions. But there were two very strange points about that contraption. Ooh! Yeah, you need some sleep, Stuart, and it's late for you, right? Like midnight or so? The first was, of course, the firing of that gun. Right, that was an antique gun I'd had on display for years. Okay, all right, here's some explanation. So it wasn't part of the little lady's original design. Of course it wasn't. It was supposed to be a surprise for her mother's birthday. And the other strange point was the movement of that Cupid. Cupid? It was supposed to shoot its arrow without turning around. Okay, alright, okay. The movement was a ghost trick, yes! So there was somebody else who died who was who wanted to hurt them. Like a manipulative bad ghost man. Somebody made a change to the contraption's design and then manipulated it. Who was it? I don't know what to say. I didn't have time to think things through then. All I knew was I had to protect Camilla. I made a small adjustment to the scene and turned myself in. 
What kind of adjustment? The gun, of course. The gun, eh? Come to think of it. There was no gun there, just a picture hanging on the wall. Of course not, because I secretly switched the gun out of that frame with the picture. Okay, okay, all right. I don't I didn't believe what she told me about her contraption, but one thing was for certain, that gun was still smoking. So that gun really did shoot Alma. I hid the gun before I went to the police. You hid it? I put it in a wooden box and gave it to a certain detective. What? He gave Lynn the murder weapon? <laughs> Jowd! You mean... And that detective still thinks it's a music box. So that's what was in the box, huh? I got a different murder weapon ready to give the police my own pistol. And I did a few other things to make it look good. I won't go into the details. When I was all done, I turned myself in. Okay, bye. I can't. Detective Jowd, is what you told us now just, just now true? Yes, of course. In that case, there's still time. Still time? Time to solve the case that started five years ago. You didn't do it, Detective Jowd, and of course little Camilla didn't do it either. So the true perpetrator is still out there, and I'm going to prove it. For Camilla's sake. Jowd, yeah, Jowd needs to live for his daughter. She's already lost one parent. She shouldn't have to lose another. Especially not one who was trying to protect her from the whole situation that was a complete and utter, you know, accident on her part. But, oh man. But wouldn't Sissel already have to be a ghost to have tricked the uh, Cupid thing? And he wa has it wasn't a ghost until he showed up dead in the junkyard, right? Unless that was the second time he died. But then we're just, I don't know. This, I don't... Nothing's too far-fetched for this game, I'm learning. That sounds wonderful. Thank you, Detective Jowd. Lynn, where's that music box now? In Tempsic Park. Camilla left it there. That gun is important evidence. You'd better go pick it up. Maybe he wasn't a ghost when he asked the ghost to kill Alma? I guess. And because of his, like, powers, he was able to already talk to the dead? Yes, sir, I'll go right now. Sis will take care of Detective Jowd and do something about the kidnapping so we can get the minister on our side. And yet, I, yet again, I say, easy enough for you to say. Okay. What's going on? Deal me the deal, Mr. Death Row Inmate. A little change in plans. My daughter's been kidnapped. I can't just go off to die without doing something. But you're in our custody, don't forget. Back at the prison, everybody's waiting for you with a special seat just for you, baby. Then I guess we'd better prove my innocence on the double. On the double, is it? You sound so determined, my old friend. I want to save Camilla in more ways than one. Don't worry, I'm on the... Dead. <laughs> That's all there is to it. I see, my old friend. In more ways than one. What say you, Mr. Minister? May we have your decision? Should the execution be carried out tonight as planned? Or should we hold off and wait for this important evidence to come in? The order still stands. Bring the prisoner back immediately and resume its enforcement. Dang you! As you wish, Your Excellency. Please, don't bow down to me. And especially not that low. In that case, can I have one of your boys arrange a prison van to pick him up? Would you be so kind? Yes, sir. Be safe. I feel like I need to dress up as Cavanella at some point. That'd be awesome. I do whose voice perfectly. Cavanella's? Thank you. The van should take about 10 minutes, I'm guessing. Your escape tonight was brilliant. We 
you show me another miracle in these last few minutes of yours, Mr. Death Row inmate? Glad to see Detective Jad all fired up now. But I feel like I'm under the gun here. Even if Lynn does come through with proof of Jad's innocence, it will be meaningless if Jad or Camilla dies. I've got to do something about that kidnapping somehow. Maybe I should ask for some device from the capable detective here. Talk to him again? Most likely the minister won't stop the execution. Not as long as there's any small chance his daughter is the one who's kidnapped. But she isn't the one, I'm sure of it. Well, it would be great if we could prove that to the minister. Prove it, how? I doubt his wife is ever gonna answer the phone. I kind of want to Sissel assist Trovi in Smash Bros. Ultimate and then he can possess parts of the stage and use them to attack. That'd be so cool! Terry, you should. You should uh, cosplay as Cavanella. That'd be awesome. That would be a really cool Smash Bros. assist trophy. It's just like, I don't know, was this game that big? I feel like it was kind of a smaller under the radar game as far as Nintendo's, Nintendo goes. I doubt his wife is ever going to answer that phone if we call from here. If we call from here, right? But a telephone works in both directions. What are you saying? What I'm saying is only family members can solve a family problem. Hey, Mr. Ghost. Yes. I have to admit, I don't like depending on others. But you're the only one who can change the situation. Gee, Detective. Oh, it did get ported to mobile? Okay. For these past five years, Camille is the only thing that kept me going. I can't go meekly to the chair now. I hate to ask this, but would you mind saving me? I'll try. Key to getting the Justice Minister stop the execution is his wife and daughter, but is there a way? Welcome back. Okay. Can I talk to him? Excuse me, Mr. Minister? I can't hear you, la 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 la. I'm sure you heard everything we've been saying. Are you telling me you don't believe any of it? Let me speak plainly, I don't trust you. But there's somebody who else whom I trust even less. Oh yeah, who's that? Me. I can't explain your existence, it's not normal, but I'm pretty abnormal myself. So maybe you're a figment of my imagination, a delusion. Would you listen to a delusion? To be honest, I have no idea what you're talking about. I got the bit about you not trusting me, though. Good. Lady Red's apartment. Oh! <coughs> Thank you! <coughs> for the bits! Thank you for those hundred beats. Okay, look here, little girl. I need you to call your dad, like, right now. Just as I thought. This little girl's safe in her bed. <coughs> Murder, execution, jailbreak, betrayal, and now kidnapping. The last link in the long chain of a sad fate lit a fire in Jowd's heart, and the chance to turn it all around is right here in this room. I'm getting a strange premonition. Everything that's happened so far tonight has related back to me in some way, and I bet this mistake-ridden abduction does too. That hair, though. <laughs> oh man, we are making good time. We're making good time. Um. Yeah, we're making good time. I still have like 30 minutes before I need to wrap up, so I'm going to keep going. Chapter 13. How many chapters are there again? Terror? I visited the novelist's apartment again. I'm hoping to be able to do something about this mistaken identity kidnapping. Excuse me. Whoa. As long as there's any possibility that it could be his own daughter who was kidnapped, I doubt the Justice Minister will call off the execution tonight. The key to dispelling the Minister's doubts is now in bed coughing, and I need to use this key before that prison van arrives to pick up our death row inmate. 18. Okay, perfect. Thank you. <coughs> Can't wait to do her voice. She walks like an old woman, though. My darling angel, oh, just listen to that cough. You naughty thing, did you leave your nice warm bed to go out into the night to play? 
They're definitely not family friendly. Oh no. <laughs> A daughter after my own heart. But I must confess, I didn't even notice you were gone. I didn't go out to play. I went to buy Papa a birthday present. He said he wanted a new lighter. But that's no reason to go out late at night. But my fever finally went down. I could barely move before that. <coughs> but look what it brought you. Your fever is worse now than ever. Here's to the feverish passion of my darling angel. Okay. Mama? Yes, darling. Let's call Papa and wish him a happy birthday, even though it's already past midnight. Not tonight, Emily. I hate you! Yeah. Sames. <laughs> Looks like this little girl was safe all along. I already knew that, but I'm still relieved all the same. And there's another lucky development, too. Emily wants to call her father. Now, if I can just make use of that feeling somehow, that would surely bring the Justice Minister around. So, can I do anything? Yes. Yes, pick up the phone, little girl. Pick it up, call your dad. The phone. Don't. Don't, lady. Call your dad, call your dad, call your dad, call your dad. Call, 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 call. Quickly! Emily, I told you, you couldn't call him tonight. Why not? Listen to me, Emily. Your father is about to make a big mistake. I want him to reconsider. What do you know about it, Mama? He's the one who's the Justice Minister, you know? All you do is write weird novels. <laughs> Take that, Mom. <laughs> what do you mean, weird? How dare you disparage my romantic expressions? Now you've really made me angry. Okay. If this woman was my mother, I would run away. <laughs> you really have. How do you expect me to forgive such an insult? Yeah, her hair did bloom. Yeah, you're right. It's like folded in pillow. I hate you. Dang, what am I going to do now? There. Ha! I'll be keeping my eye on you now so you won't do anything else mischievous. Like calling your father. I hate you! I can hear you, you know. Yeah, that's the point. What a pair! I don't know what this family's issues are, but I do know I have to do something about this lady so Emily can call. Alright! What is all of this? Okay, chandelier and hoist and latch and dictionary. Turn the valve. Better not put out the lamp right now. It will only pour oil on the flames of anger in those ladies' heart. If I want to give Emily a chance to use the telephone, I have to think of a way to keep her mother out of the way. anything. Oh goodness, look at the time! As I bask in my tale of love, time has been moving on at the speed of light. Hmm, so even though she's immersed in love, she can still hear this, A, eh? But this won't buy enough time for her daughter to make a phone call. There must be something else I can distract her with. There we go! Put the little mousy mouse. Fling that mouse.
Well, well. Having a good time, are we, little rodent? Sweet dreams! Did you fancy the vintage, my whiskered friends? She's more powerful than I thought. It looks like she tipped the wall candle to one side, too. The angle of those candles, I get the feeling I've seen something very similar to that. Yeah, I know, I just gotta light it on fire. What happens if I turn the valve? Ouchies. Oh, did I kill him? I hope I didn't kill the rat. Oh, heavens, a blackout at a critical time like this. Of course, dim lights suit my story of love very well, but I myself am not very fond of the dark. All right, this is my time. The chandelier just narrowly missed the back of my head. I know, I just... I have said that more than I should, probably. I love the thrill of romance, but I don't need these kind of thrills, thank you. So light em up, 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 light em up, 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 light em up, 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 I'm on fire. This woman. Okay. Hmm. Ah, oh, what a wonderful atmosphere. Perfect for clandestine meeting in the dusky twilight. This lady. I don't exactly know how this situation came about, but I think I owe the rat an apology. What a naughty chandelier. Is that it? She just goes over there and... Hmm. Can't go over there that I know of. What does this valve do? Burn this brighter. Let's swing this harder. Nope, that didn't do anything. Okay. What if I do this?
I need to make it burn brighter while it's down there, right? Dig, look, dig, dig, look, dig, trail, trail, trail. No! Every time I put it down, it gets smaller. The flames. I wish I could... Hmm. That's okay, Aldra. I'll figure it out. I'm just trying to think through the possibilities. What if I got it down and then did it down again before she walked away. There's we go. Such insolence. Dang it. Hmm. That's twice she managed to dodge. So I just gotta do it with enough time. I gotta do it the right time. Would she not? Would, wouldn't you give up if this kept happening? Okay, let's time it. Yes! Eek! Emily! Emily, help me! Mama? I'm sorry, Mama. I'm too dizzy. I can't get up. I'm afraid I can't help you right now. Ha <laughs> here's to the weakness of my darling angel. That chandelier's on there tighter than her wedding band. She won't be able to escape on her own. Alright, so... Ah! Somehow. I feel like I'm going to regret this. Help, help! What is going on here? Emily, look, do you see this? Help me, please. Oh, sorry, I'm too sick. I can't get out of bed. My head is spinning, so I guess you'll just have to stay up there spinning, too. Gotta light the candle. Come on, there's we go. <laughs> yeah, poor rat. That rat's a trooper. Call your dad right now. Mama? What in the world is going on here? Stop thrashing, you crazy. Call your dad right now. Oh, goody. Excuse me a minute while I call Papa, okay, Mama? I'll only be a minute. Whoa. Ah! Don't you dare, Emily. I won't have it. Hello, Pa? 
lava? You are my dad. You're my dad. Boogie, boogie, boogie. Is this a prank call? Emily, is that you? Of course it is, silly. What do you think? But I heard they said you were. No, never mind. It's it's nothing. Silly old Papa. Happy birthday, Papa. Birthday? Oh, right. It was my birthday today, wasn't it? I'm sorry we couldn't celebrate tonight. Thanks to mean old Mama. Oh, you mean old Mama. Oh, uh, you, I mean your mother. What is she up to right now? Well, she's certainly up, all right. My stubborn mother is kind of tied up at the moment. Get me down! She needs to be taught a lesson for causing us so much trouble. No, Emily. I'm the one who was wrong. Huh? Could you tell your mother I'm sorry? What do you have to be sorry about? I was just about to make a terrible mistake. But it's all right now. Oh, okay. You're still young. There's a lot I can't tell you right now. The job of Justice Minister is very complicated, you see. Okay. But just remember, you're always the most important thing to your mother and me. Did you do something naughty to your mother? If you did, I want you to apologize. I don't think I did anything. But okay, I'll apologize. That's a good girl. Okay, Papa. Have a good night. I love you. I love you too, Emily. Good night, sweetheart. Um, uh, Mama? I'm sorry. My goodness, why the sudden change? I guess I was wrong about you. I didn't understand. Oh, Emily. I thought all you ever did was write these weird novels. That makes me a little sad. Papa said the job of Justice Minister was complicated. Yes, your father's job is very, very complicated and difficult. That's why I couldn't talk to you about most of it. But you're right, I shouldn't treat you like such a little girl anymore. You're growing up, after all. I promise to stop calling your novels weird and try actually reading them. No! Do not let this child read the novels! No! Protect her innocence! What? Oh, uh-huh. Maybe you'd better wait until you're a little older for that. <laughs> okay. So, Emily, if you're feeling a little more charitable towards your old mama... Do you think you could let me down now? You know, I would love to do that. But I'm just feeling too dizzy and sick right now. Tonight, on this holiest of nights, my deadline, it looks like the only thing pressing on me will be this chandelier. Here is to Papa and Mama's darling angel. Was she clinking her glass on the wall? All of a sudden, everybody's getting along again. It's such an abrupt change, I can't understand it. Is this what family is all about? In any case, the situation has changed dramatically now. I just hope the mysteries of me can be cleared up as quickly as the furrows on the minister's brow. I don't know where Camilla is, but at least now the justice minister's doubts are dispelled. I think I'll go back to his office where everybody is waiting for the prison man. The minister's family now has this, their smiles and harmony back, but Camilla is still in the hands of the kidnappers. I decided to go back to the justice minister's office. Surprisingly, the minister's brow is still just as furrowed as ever. Quite unlike a father who has just learned his daughter is safe, he seems to still be in the depths of despair. The atmosphere in this room is very different now. It seems to have an air of unfocused anxiety. I get the feeling something big is going to happen. I just found out that my daughter is safe. I'd like to express my gratitude. Thank you. Thank you for my daughter's sake and for mine. No need to thank us, Mr. Minister. It was nothing. What did he do? But one question. I can't help but notice. Your daughter is safe. And yet you still look unhappy. How about a little smile for us? Ah. Uh. Of course, there's still the matter of the other kidnapping victim. 
But is that really the only thing that troubles you, Mr. Minister? Please, let me think in peace until the prison van arrives. How about no? Son of Jim focus me. I wonder if Lynn is at the park yet. Until we get her report, I guess I'll just have to wait here. This this continued distress of the ministers, is that is there really something more to it, like the inspector in white said? Can I talk to him? You are my dad! You're my dad! Hello, Justice Minister. How about you finally admit I do exist? That thank you I expressed. That was meant for you. You're a ghost, aren't you? And you have the power to control and manipulate people, don't you? No, I don't have that kind of power. I can't control you. We've actually known, you know, for quite a while now. But I had no idea they were the powers of the dead, of ghosts. Known? Known about what? We knew about the existence of somebody who could control others. A manipulator. What's this? That's why your execution order cost me so much anguish, Detective Chow. Mr. Minister, why don't you just tell us everything you know? Yes, I suppose I should. You need to hear it all. All about the huge mistake this foolish man made. There are some cases in this country right now that are under a top secret investigation. Of course, you wouldn't have known about them, Detective Chow. Right? They don't share too much top secret information with the inmates in prison. There are three prisoners, including you, in the special prison you just escaped from. All three cases have certain points in common. They do, do they? Tell us more. The rock singer who leaked national secrets in his lyrics during a TV broadcast. The curry lovey fellow who took uh, the chief commissioner hostage at the Metro Police Department. Neither of these men had a motive for their crime and both of their crimes were impossible. Impossible. The curry lover had no way of knowing how to infiltrate the commissioner's office and the rock singer had no way of knowing the national secrets he leaked. The Special Investigation Unit submitted an investigative report to me on, on them. They concluded that these were men's criminal acts were not of their own volition. But how could that be? The theory the unit came up with was the existence of a manipulator. A manipulator, huh? That's when the special prison was established as a facility to research that theory. Some unknown power has been at work. These past several years, Inspector Cabanella has been studying these cases. He has, has he? Manipulating somebody into committing a criminal act, according to the inspector. The first case of its kind was a locked room murder involving our nation's best detective. Are you trying to say I was manipulated somehow into shooting Alma? But I appreciate the theory, but unfortunately, I don't recall being controlled by anybody. It's just not possible to manipulate another's behavior like that. My powers certainly don't work on living creatures. That's what I thought when I first heard the theory, too. However, I was seriously mistaken, and it proved to be a big mistake. What? You mentioned a mistake. Could you tell us about it? Oh, yeah, me too, Riddy. I suppose everyone here has the right to know. All right, fine. I'll speak out loud so Inspector Cabanella can hear this, too. There's something I'd like the two of you to hear. It's Tori the Manipulator. I'm controlling the whole game. It's about a mistake I made. Inspector Cabanella, when you first made that report about a manipulator, I'm afraid I didn't believe it at all. Impossible, I thought. Perfectly understandable, Mr. Minister. But I was wrong. That kind of power does exist. I learned the truth. Excuse me. I learned the truth of that firsthand. What's this? A month ago, I signed the order to carry out Detective Jow's execution. However, that act wasn't of my own volition. I was being controlled. What? You never told me about this, Mr. Minister. going on? This, this document, what am I doing? 
I'm sorry. I must sign it. Wait, don't deliver that document. He literally said don't. Why are you walking away with it? That's when it started. That's when all of my fear, despair, and suffering began. At the time, it didn't even cross my mind that I had been manipulated. And my memory of the event was only hazy, at best. The memory of being manipulated doesn't clearly remain, eh? Signing execution orders is just part of a justice minister's job. Probably. Probably, Holland. Now, it's making sense now. At the time, I just thought my psyche was rebelling against the task. But the next day, it dawned on me. I remembered Inspector Cabanella's report on the existence of a manip manipulator. As a minister of justice, I could not admit that what had happened to me. I only signed the execution order because I was being controlled. If something like that got out, this nation's judicial system would crumble. Besides, I had no evidence to present that I had actually been controlled. So in the end, I couldn't admit to anybody what had happened. Hmm, I suppose. But it sounds like a bit of an excuse. You should have at least told us, Mr. Minister. Yes, yes, I know, I should have. I was running away from the problem. And then my wife found out I was worried about something. Well, if you go around with an expression like that, I guess it's bound to happen. I explained it to her, and she was dead set against the way I was handling it. If you don't withdraw that order and tell everyone the truth immediately, I'm moving out. And then with the kidnapping tonight, with it thrust under my nose like that, I could no longer deny my mistake. And this manipulator comes upon us from somewhere unseen. That's why I've been keeping my distance from everybody. So that's why you've been telling people to stay back. So there's someone else besides me with the powers of the dead. I'm fine with that. After all, I already knew about a certain desk. Ray? Did Ray go around doing all these terrible things? What I'm not fine with is the fact that person can control and manipulate living creatures. That's certainly not something I can do. And apparently different ghosts get different ghost tricks. But I never imagined that tonight I would find out where this kind of power comes from. Where it comes from. Inspector Cabanella. This manipulator is a ghost. A departed spirit. A spirit. As a matter of fact, there's a ghost talking to us right now. What? What did you say? Jow! Don't tell me you can hear this ghost too! I'd say the only person who can't hear him is you. Spirit? Ghost? God's in heaven! Excuse me, Mr. Minister, I suddenly have some urgent business to attend to. I recommend you think long and hard before making your final decision, sir. Inspector! All oh, dang. Cabanello's starting to look a little sketch, huh? This is Lynn. I'm at the park. We've been waiting to hear from you. Have you found the evidence? Well, uh, the situation here is... It's kind of difficult to explain. Cecil, if you're there, come to the park immediately. Looks like your help is needed, Sissel. Yeah, I guess so, huh? I feel like this is a good place to stop. But I bet there's gonna be a cutscene when I get in there. Lynn calls and I oblige. I take off toward Tempsic Park. The place is clearly 
The place where clearly something big is taking place. <clears throat> the manipulator, the person whose very existence sheds new light on everything. Detective Jout's crime, the execution orders, and even my own death. Could it be? Could Lynn have been manipulated into shooting me? Oh, perfect. Yes. No. This is perfect. Perfect timing. Oh, man. Boys and girls. This has been a crazy... This is crazy. I like this game. It's so well written. The story is just so perfectly weaved. Um, yeah. Wow. Uh, you're welcome for the stream. Um, sorry it was earlier than intended. Um, I'm gonna go watch a movie with Mam Mam and Dade now. Thanks, guys, for hanging out. Um, it was great to meet, uh, our new friend, too, if you're still here. You guys have a great rest of the night. You're welcome. Um, I will be streaming... Not tomorrow, because I work. Uh, Monday morning. We'll be back with, uh, Pokemon with Pal. Me and Tara will be doing more of our Nuzlocke that morning. So I'll see you guys then. Um, until then, please take care of yourselves. As always, much love from me to you. I'll leave you with a little bit of music, but I'll catch you guys later on. Bye.